This week, we are looking at the topic of choices, and we have said that life is a choice. We've said that Jesus or God holds the key, and we've talked about the fact that there is a way we must not enter into, which is the broad way, and today we are looking at the path we should be following. And in Matthew chapter 7, verse 14, because narrow is the gate and difficult is the way which leads to life, and there are few who find it. Narrow is the gate and difficult is the way and few find it. Jesus is telling us that if you want to really know which door he's opening, which, which doors he's shutting up, the one he's shutting incidentally is the one with a broad gate, with a wide gate and a broad way. It will seem as if that is the one he's open, but that's the one he has shut. But the one he has opened is a narrow gate. So when God opens a door for us, normally it's not a very huge door. It's a narrow gate and the way is broad. And so Jesus is pointing us in the right direction. He's telling us, if you want to follow me and get my results, this is what you should be looking out for. So let's look at the three things he says. First, he says that the gate is narrow. That means the access is controlled. The first thing anybody would see when they approach a gate that God has placed before them is that it is narrow. So right from the beginning, you realize that there is something serious you are getting into. Not everybody will see it. Not everybody recognizes it. Not everybody values it, but that will be God's way. Whether it, it relates to our salvation, it relates to our well-being, it relates to our marriage, it relates to everything, the path of Christ is a narrow gate. So when you hear everybody say, oh, no, I'm tired, I'm tired of my marriage, I want to give up, that's the broad way. But the path of Jesus is a narrow one. It's a narrow gate. You have to keep that in mind. It's always a narrow gate. Everybody is saying, oh, do this kind of business and you prosper and you prosper. The one that Jesus opens is not the one that is popularly being spoken about. It's always a narrow gate. And it is made for one person at a time. The broad way is made for everybody to go in, but God's opportunity is tailor-made to you as a person and for you. That's why it's narrow. You can enter and another person can enter after you, but one person at a time. It is a difficult path. It offers sacrificial living. Every path that God opens for us will have some difficulty in it. So you want to know the door that God has opened for you? It is the one that requires sacrifice. It is the one that requires a lot of work. It is the one that requires sweat is the one that requires you putting in something. Jesus says, if you're even going to follow me, take up your cross and follow me. He didn't say it's going to be easy. He didn't say that it will be sweatless and toilless. He said it's going to be so, but he says my burden is not heavy and the pressure he puts on us is light. The burden is light. Why? Because the Holy Spirit helps us to carry our responsibility. And what seems to be difficult becomes easy through the help of the Holy Spirit. As we trust the Lord day by day, the difficult becomes easy. The difficulty remains, but our ability to handle it is from the Holy Spirit, and that's what makes it easy for us. And Jesus says, few are on this path. Many people never find it. Many people just follow the crowd, follow popular opinion, follow what is trending, follow what everybody is doing, and never discover the path that is tailor made for them, and never discover the path that Christ wants them to walk on in every area of their lives. So, if you're going to really make the right choices, Move away from popularity contests. Move away from trying to please everybody. Move away from trying to do things that will give you likes and loves and, and all kinds of gimmicks 
that would seem as if you are popular and doing well. Seek God's way. And normally, it is not a path that will give you instant recognition. But the end is beautiful. And we have to follow that path. Let us pray. Say with me, Heavenly Father, I have purpose in my heart to walk in your way. Help me to follow you steadfastly. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. We'll continue this tomorrow. I'm Pastor Menza Otterville. Shalom, peace, and life to you.